think Tank now has to go after a world champion. You know, and maybe, I, I don't know if Tank's a world champion now. He's 35, yeah. Yeah, so maybe he has to unify. Maybe Tank, uh, yeah, and a unification would be great. Tank is not a champion at 135. Why do they call him Reggie Davis? But Oscar has the right idea. Tank Davis is at 135. The time is now for him to start fighting world champions and top competition instead of accusing people of steroids. Javante Davis believes the snack program should be out of boxing. He believes the snack program is full of PEDs. Now, Victor Conte is not an angel, but look at all the boxers that are on snack. Mikey Garcia lost to Spence. Sean Porter lost to Spence. IBF walkaway champ, Jerron Boots is on snack. Caleb Plant, who's on snack. Did those snack PEDs help Caleb Plant against David Benavides? And also, you know we got Terrence Crawford and Devin Haney on snack also. So basically, Javante Davis is calling these guys dirty fighters if you're on snack. He tried to put Conor Ben in that mix, but Conor Ben is not a snack customer, a snack client. Conor Ben got caught with something else. And I can remember Tank accusing Ryan Garcia to be on steroids right before he put the rehydration clause on him. He sounds jealous of Devin Haney. Devin Haney is a two-way champion, undisputed. And what has Tank done in the 10 years he's been professional? Only has one legit title to show for it. And yes, him and Ryan Garcia did do 1.2 million pay-per-view buys, but that was more like an event. Devin Haney at the age of 25 is creating a better legacy than Tank Davis is. You know, you always hear his fanboys and his management team say, leave Tank alone. Keep Tank's name out your mouth. You know, leave Tank alone. But Tank can say anything he wants, including accusing fighters of taking PEDs, AKA the snack program. I feel Benavides is a better fight for Canelo than a Munguia would be. Oh no, absolutely. Yeah. But, 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 but uh, uh, David hasn't earned it. So if David earns it by but, beating- Wait, 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 but Munguia has? No, Munguia hasn't either, but somebody, yeah. he's got to fight somebody. Gotta, but well, why not? Talking, like, though, that's the thing. Like, if you're going to fight somebody, might as well fight David. He's like the best no, amongst all why? those guys. Have him earn it. Have him earn it. So according to Abel Sanchez, David Benavides has not earned the Canelo fight, but he's fine with Jamel Charlo and Munguia getting the shot at Undisputed. Jamel wasn't even in a division. He was Undisputed at 154. And McGee's first fight at 168 will be January 27th, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe he, he did have a fight at 168 at one point because he couldn't make weight. But this is supposed to be his coming out party at 168 against John Ryder. Now, I don't like to use the word earned, but Benavides will be his mandatory in March 2024, right? according to Mauricio Suleiman. And how Abel Sanchez puts it, he don't like how David Benavides is talking. He don't like his attitude. So he says, make him earn it. Which according to Suleiman, he already earned it because he's gonna be a mandatory next year. Now he says, also says, Magia deserves a gift. That gift is a payday from Canelo, which in his words, he didn't have to earn. I got Canelo beating him Benavides, and I get it. Canelo is the king of boxing, so he does what he wants to do. I just think it's crazy when people say, well, Benavides hasn't earned the title shot yet, but Jamel got a title shot. McGee's possibly could get one. Jamal Charlo could possibly get one. Terrence Crawford could possibly get one, who fights at 147. And Benavides still has to earn one according to some people ridiculous anyway leave your thoughts and comments below jbz i'm gone